Welcome to Greyside Walks. Please remember to give the video a like and to comment and subscribe as it helps the channel a lot. In today's video we will visit the grave of Father Francis Brown, a famous Irish photographer and Jesuit. His most known photographs are those of the RMS Titanic and of its passengers and crew before its sinking in 1912. Francis Brown was born at Buxton House in County Cork, Ireland in 1880 into a wealthy family. His parents were James and Bridget Brown. Eight days after the birth of Francis, his mother died of puerperal fever. Following a swimming accident in 1889, his father also passed away and Francis was brought up by his uncle Robert Coyne, who was the Bishop of Cloyne. It was his uncle who bought him his first camera before he embarked on a tour of Europe in 1887. He received a gift in the form of a ticket in 1912 for the maiden voyage of RMS Titanic from Southampton, England to Queenstown, Ireland via Cherbourg in France. On the afternoon of the 12th of April 1912, he boarded the Titanic. His cabin number was A37 on the promenade deck. While on board the Titanic, he took a number of photographs capturing life on board. He shot photographs in the gymnasium, the first class dining room, the Marconi room as well as his own cabin, and of passengers enjoying walks on the promenade and boat decks. Some of the last known images of many crew including Captain Edward J. Smith, engineer William Parr, gymnasium manager T.W. Macaulay, and numerous third-class passengers whose names are unknown. Brown befriended a rich couple while seated at his table in the dining room. They offered to pay for his way to New York and back if in return he would spend the voyage to New York in their company. Brown telegraphed his superior requesting permission but the reply was an unambiguous get off that ship provincial. When the Titanic docked in Queenstown, County Cork, Ireland Father Francis disembarked and returned to Dublin to continue his theological studies. When news broke of the Titanic sinking, he came to the realisation that his photographs would be of great interest, so he negotiated their sale to various news outlets. His work appeared in publications around the world. Subsequently, the Eastman Kodak Company gave him free film for life and he often contributed to the Kodak magazine. The type of camera he used to take photographs on the Titanic is unknown. Brown was ordained in Dublin in 1915, and in 1916 he was sent to join the Irish Guards in Europe as a chaplain. During the war, Brown was wounded five times and once severely in a gas attack. He was awarded the military course for distinguished service in the field on the 4th of June 1917 and also a bar to his MC in February in 1918. He was awarded the Croix de Guerre in France. His citation read, For conspicuous gallantry and devotion to duty, he was untiring in his efforts to succour the wounded during an attack. His courage and determination under heavy shell fire were a magnificent example to all. During his time in Europe, he took many photographs, one he called Watch on the Rhine, and is considered a classic image of World War I. After the war, he returned to Dublin and resumed office as the superior of St. Francis Xavier Church in Dublin. He continued his hobby and photographed many churches and parishes around Ireland, and also London and East Anglia, during his ecclesiastical travels to England. In 1960, Francis Brown died in Dublin and was buried in the Jesuit plot in Glasnevin Cemetery. His photographs were only found by chance in 1985, 25 years after his death. His negatives had lain forgotten in a large metal trunk discovered by Father Edward O'Donnell in the Irish Jesuit archives. When the trunk was opened in 1985, People compared him to the greats like Henri Cartier-Bresson and Robert Ducineau. 
but his work predated theirs by decades, archivist David Davison later recalled. The negatives were brought to several publishers by O'Donnell. The Titanic photographs were published in 1997 as Father Brown's Titanic album, with text by E. E. O'Donnell, Father Eddie O'Donnell. The features editor of the Sunday Times of London called this the photographic equivalent to the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Many of these books have become bestsellers, the latest being the centenary edition of Father Brown's Titanic album in 2012 by Messenger Publications Dublin.